I ask for eyes that see, ears that hear, and a heart full of understanding. I thank you for the messages that come through and ask that you deliver them to those that need them. Thank you. Okay, guys, messages from your higher self. Three piles, as is usual. Pile one is this Inspire card. And you have Lestite or Celestine heart. It's like a light blue. Pile two, you have this card with a cup of tea. And you have this Druzy agate. And pile three, you have this travel inspired card. And you have fire quartz heart. And we are going to go ahead and pick with zodiacs as well, if that's how you want to do it. I'll grab those real quick and give them a good little shuffle. All right, so pile, oh, as I drop things, pile one, you are Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, and Taurus. Pile two is Scorpio. Sagittarius, Virgo, and Leo. And last but not least, pile three, we have Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, and Libra. So those are the choices. Pause if you need to, and uh, I will see you guys at your pile. All right, pile one. If you chose with your zodiac, Aquarius, Aries, Gemini, and Taurus, put those up there. You have your blue Celestite or Celestine Heart and your Inspire card. Let's see what your higher self message is. I actually, you know, to be quite transparent with you guys, I feel like I need to take just a quick moment and actually pause and reach into your energy before I turn these over. So just taking a breath, welcoming in your energy. There we go. Okay. I do feel that that is perhaps saying that Oh, how do I put that? It's not that you're not friendly. It's just that you don't immediately give of yourself. Um, that you need, it's easier for you if people come to you. Um, or you want to like slowly get to know people. You're, you're not a rawr. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, it felt better as soon as I did that. It was like a, oh, hi, like a welcoming. So let's get into it. Freedom, happiness, nightingale spirit with love is all around. Goodness gracious, guys. <laughs> all kinds of positive vibes right now. Let's see, oceans, sacred convergence, and festa with heart or hearth, sorry, hearth. Let's just give these a bit more space. There we go. Everything fitting in there. So the only one I'm gonna really need to read up on is this one. Everything else feels like it makes a bit of sense. Um, I could pull just orically from this. But I would like to also read what the book has to say. Um, before I do that, okay. I'm getting so far a lot of um, 
Oh, let's do your numbers. Sorry guys, let's do numbers just in case you're into numerology. We have 21, 6, 13, 30, 28, and 32. There's, there's a lot of jovial, right? Like happiness, um, freedom just is like flying free, right? You, you're usually pretty happy when you feel free. Um, love is all around. And then we're kind of getting into this home. What I heard is home is where the heart is, but then there's also this bravery card. It says oceans on it, but it also is speaking of bravery. So there's something that's not just freedom, happy, happy within your home life. Yeah, let me go ahead and read this and I will come right back to you guys. Okay, I'm just going to read the whole thing to you because the way that the author words these things is just, it's just beautiful. So here we go. Sacred Convergence, this card. There is a coming together happening within your body and soul, a unification of all that is within you. This is akin to traveling to a strange land as all sorts of new sensations, not all welcome at first, begin to make themselves known to you. If you are experiencing discomfort within your own body or uncertainty and a sense of expansion to include more of life in your thoughts and feelings, then you are conscious of this sacred convergence. It is like two worlds or more colliding. If you are sensitive, you will feel it happening as an important event without necessarily having a physical situation to attribute the experience to or upon which to hang an explanation. You may also be encountering this in a very physical sense by finding yourself in situations which you previously would have avoided. You may be meeting people and thrown into relationship with them, apparently more by circumstance by than, your, by, than by your own conscious choosing. This is a meeting of you with your shadow and something to rejoice in, even if it's uncomfortable at times. Be gentle and loving with yourself and kindly seek to find the beauty in what you are learning about yourself in your interactions and experiences. You are a wise soul, seeking to know yourself rather than judge others. Remember your divine perfection as you are thrilled and challenged in this time of great growth. You are guided to be curious as though traveling to a foreign land and remaining opening, open to experiencing its treasures. This... Bleh, bleh. <laughs> My mouth just went... Bleh. All right. This oracle holds a message for you. A deeper part of yourself is calling you forward. Any discontent, struggle, anxiety, or fear is a subconscious recognition of this. Don't worry. You are a unique plant in the divine garden. You don't have to know what plant you are in order to grow. You just need to live each day and the growth happens naturally. Then you can see over time the beauty of your true nature revealing itself to you. It will be a revelation to be relished. Really beautiful really beautiful. So this card does speak of this whole thing about the family situation, right? Um, your bravery, uh, something, there's something you don't like about your family. I mean, hey, <laughs> all of us, <laughs> we're human, but, um, it is natural for you to feel free and happy and within love. That is, that is a natural state for you. So there is something within your family that feels unnatural to you. Let me, let me get. So what I got was like flipping the pages through a book and it's like you're going through time. You're going through time flipping these pages with your family. And so it's it's either in regards to past or this is saying um, in your future you're going to look back. And then I also received a hand holding. Like a hand, like a precious got through this, got through this hand holding. Uh... So there is, there is this like requirement of, it's not a requirement guys. It's just, 
it's what you're able to do. It's brave for you to be around your family, someone in your family, something, whatever the situation is, too many because it's a general reading, but you are coming to a point within your spiritual self where you are realizing that everybody has their own plan, their own life, their own state of growth, their own process. Um, and you are a part of that process in your family, just as your family is a part of the process for you in your own growth. And you are able to, if you are not there currently, you are going to be able, you're coming into this, this time um, where you are going to be able to really like be the observer instead of being in it in that moment, um, which is perfectly fine, guys. There's so many, you know, we go back and forth, don't we? Like, oh, we have to be in the moment, in the moment. Well, sometimes the moment's really hard <laughs> and it's really good to be able to pull back and be like, I'm the observer seeing this moment and I don't have to be emotionally in involved at the, at this time. Um, you do what works for you. And that's, that's all I have to say about that. Um, I do feel recognition coming for your bravery. You want it from family. I, I cannot tell at this moment if it's coming from family or from outside of family, like someone you tell and they recognize you, they see you. Could be both. Again, general reading. It might be why I can't quite tell. Um, let's see. Flight, flight, flight. There is, there is a sense of exploring, um, with, you have this card and this card, freedom and sacred convergence, um, and it talked about, like, worlds combining, it talked about seeing something as if you go to a whole new land and you don't know anything, um, there's a newness, there's an exploration and newness for you. I am hearing to say this, although I will, again, being transparent, I'm questioning it a little bit because it's hard to tell if it's me or you, um, <laughs> but I'm hearing to say it, so I'm going to. Um, so sometimes as an empath and doing these readings, I embody, I physically embody what you guys might be experiencing, and I am struggling right now to speak. Uh, my throat hurts, my jaw doesn't want to move. I'm tired. I'm like suddenly very drained and okay. All right. So it's both. It's both. It's both of us. Um, I am hearing to some of you remind you, some of you, this might be new. Um, a lot of us, I truly believe that if we're sensitive, we feel the energies, energies of the world and it can very much drain us. You might think you're introverted because you are feeling so drained by all the people around you. And maybe that's what introversion is. It's the feeling of the energies and it's too, it can be a lot, right? So take time to give this love to yourself to the way that you are with so many people, the loving, kind, amazing soul that you are, you need to give yourself the, the space, the time away. And now I'm being called to this hearth card, hearth card again. Um, and I'm seeing it as your own hearth, your own home, your own sanctuary and safety and it's just you in front of a fire having a glass of wine or something, you know, it's, it's, and, and it's peaceful and beautiful for you. It's not, it's not lonely. It's 
relaxing, it's restoring. just a reminder guys when I get quiet I'm usually trying to gain clarity or ask a question or hearing something it's promise something about a promise now um, I'm getting rainbows and uh, I mean you know Depending on your culture, things have different, uh, they symbolize different things, right? So I grew up Christian, excuse the cat hair, I don't know if you saw that. Um, I grew up Christian and so the rainbow to me is like a promise. So that's what that's symbolizing to me right now. I do know that it also is like um, LGBTQ plus type stuff. Not getting that energy from it right now. I, I am hearing like promise, a promise of something. Oh, uh, let's, let's get into that, please. I heard heart health. Promise of heart health. In regards to that, whatever this means to you, it could be a physical thing. It could be something to do with your family. Maybe a member is having heart issues. Could be your own heart health that you, it doesn't have to be physical. Could, you know, it could be like an emotional thing. Um, either way, the message I'm receiving to give to you is a part it is a part of the whole within life, within what we experience, our growth. And though difficult at times, strength occurs. When the emotions run high, it can be hard to see because we're not centered in peace and being the observer. I'm just really feeling that they're saying more peace for you. This, this is no longer about bravery now, the card. I'm now seeing it as above the world this is like the world here and you're just floating kind of you're like flying above the world um which means to bring yourself out of circumstances out of the very emotional side of it it's okay to have the emotions i'm not saying that please <laughs> you guys you guys should know don't be feels feels are good right there, we need to have them, even if they're hard. But there is a time to bring in peace. There is a time to pull out of that and just trust. Give your trust to whatever your higher power is, universe, source, God, however you see these things. Um, put the trust in that as you have been doing, but continue to. Oh, I'm being encouraged to find a new way, find a new, um, something that you can do. Like, you know, like there's different meditation types. Um, uh, there's, I don't know if it's watching water or looking into a fire, like being able to just relax your eyes and, or looking at plants um but something that uh, like breathes in for you a newness a different way of 
bringing in peace and relaxation and your trust to the universe. Yeah. Yep, yep. Night sky. I'm now getting the night sky. Oh, do you guys ever do that wish upon a star thing? Um, there's like a little phrase. Gosh, I don't remember what it was now, but there was a little phrase that you would say and then you would make a wish. If you remember what it is, please comment and let me know. I would, I, gosh, it's, it's gone now. It's, it's out of my head, but, um, there's something whimsical about this and there's something childlike that's not childish, childlike. That's bring back the awe, bring back the joy, the magic, the magic within this way of trusting um, within your, your bringing in peace. Okay, so I am hearing to let yourself be the wild version of you at least once. Just a little bit. Like, just let it happen just once. You don't have to keep up with it, but see how you feel. There is... There is a wild version inside of you that wants to come out. And when I talk about this, I'm, I'm getting images of like, you know, we see in the movies or shows like the witches dancing around the fire or something like that or howling to the moon or, or whatever it be. And this pile feels like this lack of freedom right now while I'm talking about this. It's like you want to go there, but you don't have the opportunity right now or you haven't ever yet. Um, and there's like, you just, there's, it feels a little bit silly because of how maybe you grew up and what people would think of it or whatever. Um, and so you do have a little bit of a judgment to it, but they're kind of saying just, stick your foot out there, right? Like, let your, let yourself do that. Like, give in to the absurd craziness that it can be. You can question it later. You don't have to ever do it again, but see how you feel. See what happens with it. Okay, that is it guys uh, for pile one. I truly hope that this has been a blessing for you. I hope that you regularly receive the love back that you obviously give. I hope that you feel seen, heard, understood, cherished, all those wonderful things. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. All right, pile two, if you chose with your zodiac, we have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo, and Virgo. Let me put these here. Your... Druzy Agate Heart. And you chose the Tea Time card. And if I remember correctly, I think you did get two of those cards. So we're going to have to really squish some things in here. Or maybe even just put them on top of each other. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We have friendship. Forgiveness. Time. Atoms. Be spirit. I like that card. Nurture and within nothing there is everything. Okay. 
Let me give you your numbers if you are into numerology. We have 22, 19, 40, 41, 23, 29, and 2. Lots of twos. All right, friendship card says the energy of friendship supports our intrinsic desire for a connection with others based on mutual affection and appreciation. With Adams, it says building. With time, it says discipline. The B spirit says sweet results await. And I will have to read up on this card. Because they, they have like, it's, it's not a huge long one, but it's in depth and beautifully written. Uh, I mean, I, it, it feels a bit obvious <laughs> at this moment, but, um, we have friendship right next to forgiveness, right? And we have time and building and then sweet results await and nurture. So obviously it, it's something happened within a friendship that needs forgiveness and, this is encouraging because uh, you know two sides here whether you're the one that needs to forgive or needs to be forgiven um this is encouraging that this does need to happen like it's it's a friendship that can continue this is not an unforgivable thing uh rebuilding can happen and it takes time and it does take actual effort on both parties. Um, as someone that's forgiving, you have to constantly remind yourself that you've forgiven them. It, it's That takes time. It's like, no, they're not. They said they wouldn't do this anymore. I've got to let that be, right? Um, and as the one being forgiven, you have to keep proving that you're not going to do that thing anymore. So it, it takes effort for both. And there does need to be nurture on both parts. If you want to maintain this friendship, and you guys, it's, this could be a relationship too. It's, it's, this is just the card that came out. Um, it's, if you want to maintain this, both of you need to be nurturing to each other. It's, it's not, it doesn't work. Nothing works if it's only one way. Right? All right, let me go ahead and read up on this and I will get back to you guys. All righty, I am going to go ahead and read this to you. So number two, within nothing there is everything. From a point of stillness, a moment, a complete universe is opening up to you, endlessly expanding. Your every thought and intention sends ripples of consciousness through the universe. What a creative being you are. You are sending consciousness into, mo consciousness into motion, bringing your creation into being. With every inner desire, with every wish whispered wish, the universe receives your yearning and aspirations with open arms, returning them to you as manifestation in your life. What is really in your heart? Open your arms, sigh, speak your truth aloud to the loving universe, and receive it as your destiny manifesting now. I actually just noticed this, like, open arms. And this hands are open, ready? I'm also being reminded of the phrase, um, what, where you focus, the energy will flow. And so that's what will manifest, right? So this nurturing really is what brings this on for your friendship. Don't be afraid of a little hard work. It, it takes... Sometimes it takes a lot. Uh, sometimes it takes several conversations. It, 
allow each other to have fears, to be human, to have flaws, um, to learn and grow. And that's for both of you. Yeah, bring a little sweetness into your life. I'm getting like, you need the honey for your tea. Um, this nurturing is sweetness. It's love. Oh, okay. All right. Oof. <laughs> um, sometimes people... Can be a little harsh right um gentleness is weakness to them it's not strength you're not strong unless you're solid and in front of and yelling and grr um sweetness can go a long way it can calm a heart Gentleness, patience, understanding. When you, um, when you remain gentle as someone is being aggressive, it is very difficult for them to remain aggressive. The longer you remain gentle, that energy will win over. They may need to get their angst out, their anger, their rage, all of that, because it's building up such a home inside of them. I'm not saying that this is the best behavior, but also I'm not really judging it, guys, because we all learn, we all develop different ways. What I am saying, though, is that if this energy is truly bothering you, remain gentle, remain peaceful, remain loving, even if they are attacking you with words, right? At some point, they can't go anywhere with it because it's not affecting you. It goes around you. You've got this bubble of love happening and they will calm. And then you can have real conversations. Then you can find the way to nurture each other. You can find the way to forgive each other. You can find what works, but it can take, like, you can even have the same damn conversation, like, ten times if you need to. Because it takes us. Some of us take a little while to learn, right? And we really need to dig through. I mean, if it's something that you're raised with and, like, you have this belief. I don't mean religiously, guys. I just mean, like, a thought, right? It's a way of being because this is the way you were raised. And and it, it can take a while to unlearn it. And this conversation may need to happen again and again and again until it's actually unlearned. But we have to be patient with each other and give that love. Um, 
because this is bringing up the whole forgiveness thing, I do want to say, I don't get the feeling of it from this, but just in, just in case, um, you know, there's, there's only so far it can go. If people are not willing to try to work on themselves, this includes you, the friendship isn't going to work. Like it's, it's going to fail. It's going to fall apart. Um, and it's, that's, that's how it is. We, we are human, we have flaws, but we also need growth. And that's how we, we learn about our flaws and, and we hopefully we become better throughout our life. But not in a way of, I don't mean to say this as if you've got to always work on changing. You always have to be perfect. No, God, no. We need, we need to relax too. Um, but for this, for this moment, it's asking, bring the sweetness back, allow, allow for healing to happen. And that's for both of you guys involved. But, <laughs> okay, <laughs> sorry, I just laughed a bit loud, didn't I? Um, I just saw this as like a hanger, like they're like a clothes hanger, right? Um, but what I got from that is... Someone's wearing to cover up. Someone's covering up and that might be what the problem is that happened. Uh, why do we do that? Why do we cover up? We fear not being seen in good light. We fear being seen in a bad way. Um, we might be embarrassed by something that we did. Um, It's a bummer. It's a bummer. We don't need to cover up. We really don't. And people, again, we're in all in different stages. Um, but it's so much better to just come forward. It's so much better. I was staying with, um, here's a little example of this. I was staying with an ex's, and currently an ex, but at the time not, obviously. Um, his parents for a little while, and I went to go use their Keurig, their coffee machine, and I had never used, like, the very first version, and didn't realize that I had accidentally tossed out, like, the metal mesh thing that holds the coffee grounds. <laughs> I didn't know it came with a metal mesh thing. And I thought, oh, it just must be broken and they don't really use it, but it's still sitting here. Um, and because honestly, things like that were around the house, but I, so I didn't say anything. I cleaned it up and I didn't say anything. And then someone went to go use it and was like, what? And I came forward and said, oh my gosh, that must have been me. Cause I, I just thought it wasn't working. And they said, no, there's supposed to be a thing. And so I, I bought them a new metal mesh piece that goes in there. Um, but the whole point is it's obviously it would have been me, right? I'm the new person. So who else would have done that? It's me. Come forward. Be like, yeah, it's a little embarrassing. Whoops. Didn't mean to, of course. And then you make it right. Um, and there are a lot of people that don't do that. And I don't, I don't fully get it. Um, it's kind of amazing what embarrassment and hiding will cause us to do because we think we need to be perfect, but we don't. We do not need to be perfect. We are, nobody is perfect. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm saying a lot of ums because I'm feeling very, the need to be gentle, the need to... <sighs> I 
I have a feeling that this person is probably harder on themselves than you are. Right? That's most of us. And there needs to be this nurturing, this forgiveness, this whoops, you made a mistake. You know, let's make it right and move on. Let's let's build back. Let's Let's just be better and it's okay. It doesn't have to be the end of the world when you make a mistake. And help them learn that they don't have to hide. Help them learn that. Okay, is there anything else? Because I do feel a little bit of a closing with this. Anything specific, please? I've got that song that just popped up in my head, the Sunshine Lollipops song and Rainbows Everywhere, something like that. Um, it, it is a, I don't like saying it this way, but I, I think you'll understand. It is, it's calling for you to be the bigger, be the bigger man, be the bigger friend and shine light, but let it be a loving light. Let it be a positive rather than a condemning. And I think that's like mind blowing for this person to, to have someone see them and see the mistake they made and not like reprimand them. Um, because why else are they hiding? People don't hide unless they're scared. They're, they're, they're scared for something about something. Um, so love them like, you know, you love a new cat that you bought that's under the bed and is scared to come out. You give them love, you give them little treats <laughs> and bring them out slowly. I think that's why there's this building. And then it just, it will, it takes time. It takes time for people to relearn behaviors, to unlearn things that they grew up with that may not be the best. Yep. Okay. That was it. Okay, guys. I really hope that this has been a benefit for, for you. Benefit for you. I hope that you regularly feel loved, seen, heard, cherished, all those amazing things. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Alrighty. Pile three. If you chose with your zodiac, we have Cancer, Libra, Capricorn, and Pisces. I'll put those there. You have your amazing heart here, Fire Quartz Heart, and your Travel Inspired card. And let's see. Yep, okay. With you guys, I also feel... I didn't have to do this with Pile 2. I do feel this with you. Uh, I felt this also with Pile 1. So if you were torn, you how one's a thing, but I do feel the need to pause and take a moment with your higher self. Um, it's not going to be an energy that just comes right in and, and will talk with me. It's more like I need to be welcoming. So that's what we're going to do. Take a breather and welcome in your energy. <laughs> okay. Um, I do have a very silly, goofy, like fun loving energy happening. Okay. All right. So we're going to stick with that and go ahead and grab the cards now. We've got curiosity. Yeah, that makes sense. Secrets. Oh, oh. Rhino spirit with overcome any obstacle. Speed also says movement. Whoa, I do not know how to say that word, but the um, representation, the meaning is root. Uh, a mom I, I don't know, guys. I don't know, but it, it says root. And three to one. So, as far as numbers go for numerology people, we have 15, 
28, 44, 42, 38, and 10. All right, so for under curiosity, it says the frequency of curiosity supports our intrinsic inquisitive nature, which is the necessary driving force behind any growth and evolution. Hmm. Also kind of a determined spirit here. Very, there's strength with this rhino card overcoming any obstacle this speed card like she's jumping over the world basically the city um just power power strength stamina all this and it's kind of interesting because i because you are i felt like this really fun loving goofy silly spirit but you do have, you have this, it's not, obviously it's not just that. I mean, we're, humans are multifaceted, right? But you, you have this other side to you that I don't think most people see. Is that the secret? How strong you are? They tend to view you as like just funny, right? Like more, oh, that's our goofy friend or that's the class clown or you know, the one that makes us laugh in the family gatherings. I do want to read on these two cards, so I will be right back. Okay, so I'm, I am going to read this one to you just because they always word things so wonderfully. And so here we go. Uh, it's three to one. There is a heavenly child in your midst. Sorry, hold on guys. I had forgotten to put the mic back on. <laughs> so here we are. All right, there is a heavenly child in your midst. It may be within your heart, in your womb, or a glimmer in your eye soon to be. This child holds the key to the fulfillment of a process that is happening for you now. The child might be a physical culmination of your marriage or commitment to another. It might be a symbolic birthing of a new self after a time of learning to bring male energies of protection and discernment together with female energies of feeling and creativity, whether within yourself or in your relationship with another. The child might symbolically be a new life, an improved relationship, a book, a new job, a completely renewed way of dealing with what was once challenging a challenging issue, just to name some examples. From masculine to feminine to child, there is just now one the new reality dawning with grace this oracle holds a message for you new life is upon you now you are being reborn and you will give birth to what is meant for you this lifetime there is no need to worry just pray with an open heart that you may be supported to fulfill your destiny you already are of course but prayer can help you realize it the rest is in the loving and capable hands of the divine so I really do feel that, um, and I'll, I'll get to this card. <sighs> there is something speeding up for you um, that has been an obstacle, and that's coming to a close. And you have a newness. Now, what this card here. Yeah, okay. So it actually represents a lot of things, but the one thing that I'm getting that's meant for this pile is the grounding. There's something that's going to be very grounding for you in this close of whatever what, cycle, chapter, obstacle, whatever it is that's closing. Um, you are now grounded. You are now almost like becoming whole. I don't know why I want to say that. That's That's what wants to come out. Um, okay. 
<laughs> I'm being reminded that a lot of people, uh, this is not something that's been me, so I, I don't relate, but a lot of people feel like they're not whole, so, um, or like that they're broken or something like that. So that might be you, and this is, it's, it's grounding, it's creating, it's strengthening and you have this new perspective life job situation just whatever there's a newness happening and it's good newness it's not i mean you could because you've overcome something it might be a life lesson that you're learning But something that was hidden or not with you or can I have more please on the secret? Oh, oh I, okay. I heard to read, read on it. So that's what we're going to do. Oh. This book of course, likes to, there we go. It has the numbers really tiny. Your soul, you keep many things inside you. You carry the burden of secrets. Your own secrets are those you feel in others. They affect your throat chakra and therefore our communication. Mm. When you communicate with yourself or others, these secrets also create an energy of distru distrust. Part of you doubts others, doubts their sincerity and honesty. Part of you even doubts yourself. You feel like you can never be sure which creates an armor of energy. Know that outer life is only in permanence. You can't control others and you can't control life. All you can control is what you nurture inside yourself. Using your choice of method, release the burden and secrets, release the distrust and doubts that keep you from being yourself. Accept the imperfection of life and other people. Accept your faults and accept your mistakes. You can do it. So it might be talking about that uh, you you keep too much inside rather than letting it out. I think it really makes a good point of um, what that energetically does to us. And you are truly overcoming this. This is something I, I feel, I mean, this is, <laughs> you can't just, you have to work on this. This is not like a subconscious sudden thing that oh i don't keep secrets anymore oh i let everything out suddenly no that's you this is something you have to be working on so that was for some of you because i do feel like it's it's a side message to the rest of this there's there's really a this curiosity something that's hidden overcoming strength becoming strong rooted deep to a new life i know that sounds so vague guys i'm so sorry that that's like that it's 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 there's too many <laughs> <laughs> too many options i mean it's right the world is chaos so i do feel a bit of travel for some of you I mean, we've got, you know, this person jumping over city, 
speed movement. I also kind of felt like this tree is unlike anything I've ever seen. It's a different tree, so going to a different environment. Um, I do feel that this is going to be eye-opening for you, this newness, whatever the newness is. This new that is coming in will be different than what you're used to. It's eye-opening. Why do I want to... I want to like spin this card. I just want to spin it. It's not going to do that, but I'm getting like, okay, around the world, around the world. Um, so two things I immediately thought of with that is Daft Punk. There's Daft Punk has a song around the world. I think it's Daft Punk. Um, and then also again, travel. Maybe there's so, there's something about maybe you travel all over the place. Um, maybe you're going to a different place than you've ever been. Um, maybe that's how the newness is coming in. There's so much circular energy here. Look at this. We have circle here, the moon here. There's circles on the rhino. This here, here, rounding. This horizon is rounded. And we come full circle. completion. Completion. I'm again, I'm getting this connection with when I said the word completion, I'm getting this connection of you don't feel whole and you're about to feel complete. There is nothing you need to do. I am get that's that is that's coming through. There's nothing you need to do for this to feel complete. For this newness. Um it's kind of just like that. Was that in this book? Did it say, um, just pray in the divine law? Well, I have to see again. Because, guys, when I read too much of this stuff, I, I lose it quickly after reading it. It's, um, yeah, there's no need to worry. Just pray with an open heart that you may be supported to fill your, your destiny. You already are, of course, but prayer can help you realize it. So, yeah, you're you're just... This is you living your life and your higher self is like, yeah, just letting you know, you don't need to worry. Like you don't need to worry about anything. Things are happening. What's something that's been hidden that you've been curious about? Um, there's been this obstacle. We're coming over that obstacle. Strength and newness. Really feel this root is all about, you know, the card does mention a lot about, um, family traditions and how you're raised and and roots like where you come from and all that but it also talked about grounding and I don't feel that this is 
so much about your traditional, like your, your childhood, how you, how you were raised. I really feel like it's more about, look at the strength of this card, right? Like, the, the roots are like, it's got all these rocks and stuff underneath it, and it's, the trees are branching out to have this massive life up ahead, giving, giving life to everything. It's, um, yeah. There's some kind of event for you guys. There's some event in your life that is going to bring this newness on that you're wanting. You're like, this is, this isn't just, oh, something's new. Like, this is something you're wanting. You've been wanting. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize, guys, realize, um, it's a travel card. I didn't even, like, I completely forgot about this card, and I was just looking at these, and we do, we have travel, um, you know, going somewhere else. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes I'm a little silly. Um, yeah, that's... <laughs> I hope you're laughing with me. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anything else, spirit? I mean, higher self. What are we doing here? Higher self. Anything else, please? Okay. It says we're good. All right, guys. I truly hope this has been a blessing for you. I truly hope that you feel seen, loved, heard, cherished, all those good things. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.